The plan to kill hundreds of thousands of barred owls on the West Coast is moving forward. The U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife says the spotted owl will be wiped out because of the threat of barred owls in their territories, including here in uh, Washington. Officials say removing some barred owls will actually save both species. Killing one species to save another? is hard for Washington nature lovers to take in. I think it's more of a habitat problem than a barred owl problem. A barred owl management strategy created by U.S. Fish and Wildlife outlines the plan to kill about 450,000 barred owls over three decades because they've been deemed a threat to the spotted owl. According to the plan, barred owls would be lured using megaphones to broadcast recorded owl calls, then shot with shotguns carcasses would be buried on site. We don't take this lightly. Um, you know, we have a responsibility to recover the spotted owl, but we're conservation biologists, so that's very challenging for us to come to this decision. Other local conservationists recognize this difficult situation. It's a terrible decision to have to make. No one wants to see the spotted owl go out. But the retired former executive director of nonprofit Wildlands Network says he disagrees with the plan for a few reasons. We've made the barred owl the villain here and it's not. We're the villain. We're the ones who have destroyed all this habitat. And we can't make up for that, you know, on the lives of the barred owl. Concerns over the spotted owl's vanishing old growth forest habitat and invasive species competition date back to 1990 when they were listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Barred owls are everywhere in our northwest forests. This isn't like an island where you can kill off a population and more aren't coming in. Barred owls will move into these areas where we kill them just as fast as they're shot and they're going to keep coming. The barred owl weighs just under two pounds. It's about the size of a crow. A spotted owl is slightly smaller. While they may look similar, Fish and Wildlife said what they eat really sets them apart. The barred owl eats significantly more types of prey, making it harder for the spotted owl and other animals in our state to survive. You will still see the barred owl in your local parks. The killings would reduce North American barred owl numbers by less than 1% annually. Barred owl removal will happen where they're heavily populated in spotted owl territory, like the Olympic Peninsula and sections of the western and eastern Washington Cascades. Public hunting of the barred owl will not be allowed. All removal has to be done by trained removal specialists. Where firearms are not allowed or contraindicated, uh, barred owls may be trapped and euthanized. Now, the removal of barred owls could start as early as this fall, but Fish and Wildlife told me it's more likely to fully start next spring.